Hi everyone, this is Michelle Taylor from veganbreak.com and I'm here today with Jack Norris. Um, Jack is the president and founder, co-founder of Vegan Outreach, a nonprofit organization uh, that does vegan awareness and I'm gonna do a few questions with him. Um, so Jack, what inspired you to start Vegan Outreach? So in 1990, when the co-founder of Vegan Outreach, Matt Ball, and I met, uh, we felt that the case for veganism was compelling, but um, there wasn't really an organized and consistent uh, effort to get the message to people on the streets. So um, one of the first things we did was we created a, a brochure. At the time, there was no color brochures at all, and this is actually a copy of the first color brochure in the United States promoting vegetarianism and right here. And uh, it was pretty simple. Uh, we, we laid it out ourselves. And, um, <clears throat> and then one of the first things we did was we started holding banners at, on busy streets and on highway overpasses that said, Stop Eating Animals. And uh, this turned out to be fairly tough work. People didn't really understand what we were, we were getting at, and it made a lot of people pretty angry. So mm -hmm. we felt like we weren't getting enough info to people. So what we then did was we thought we need a, a, a brochure that actually is larger than the one we had. And so we, our first booklet was uh, called And Justice for All, and it was this one right here. Um, and so then we just went on from there, and now... Um, our booklets are a lot more sophisticated and here, Yeah, so Jack, okay. can you show us some of your booklets and the yes. options that you have out there today for, for so, these letters? So right now our most popular one is Compassionate Choices. It's um, a little bit uh, more toned down in terms of the graphicness than some of our other brochures and, and people are more likely to take it. But on college campuses, a lot of us like to use even if you like meat. Um, and it is a little more graphic and college students tend to be able to handle that and actually a lot of times it, 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 it draws the reader in and makes them interested. Um, so that's one that we use a lot of and then uh, Why Vegan, which was our main booklet for many years until we started to uh, do the other two, um, we use that mostly for tabling these days where people are already predisposed to be interested in veganism. And one of our, our other booklet, Guide to Cruelty Free Eating, this is what we use to give to people who want more information on being vegan and has recipes and nutrition information and, and that sort of thing in there. Great. Yeah, that's awesome. And another thing I wanted to mention on these is you do something <clears throat> really cool by having this blank spot in the background yes. so different organizations can order these or individuals can order right. these and stamp their groups on, on you there. You can stamp it and you can actually, we can print your, your logo on also, although there is a charge for that. Yeah, so that's very cool. Um, so tell me a little bit about uh, how many leaflets have been distributed by Vegan Outreach. So we've distributed over 12 million uh, leaflets now, and uh, most of them have gone have been handed directly to college students, and we've handed um, almost 7 million directly to college students since Incredible. 2003. Yes, thank you. And it's uh, a, a lot of uh, hard work on the part of our leafleters. Um, we have hundreds of volunteers throughout the country, and we have a number of paid leafleters that work uh, for us and travel around the country handing them out. Yeah, yeah. So Vegan Outreach chooses college students as their kind of primary demographic to hand leaflets to. What's your reason for doing that? So on, on average, uh, college students seem more open to the message of uh, veganism and changing their diet. They're at a time in their life where they're uh, forming habits that are going to stick with them throughout their adult lives. So we want to reach them at a time when they we can maybe get them to, to change what they might have otherwise done. Um, yeah, definitely. Okay. As a college student that received literature in college, right. um, I went vegan in college, so, so did I can I. definitely relate yes. to that. <laughs> and did a lot of leafleting in college as well. So if you're in college um, and are interested in leafleting, that's a great opportunity because you're right there on campus and it's so easy just to take an hour whenever you have the chance to. That's true. Um, yeah, spread some information around. So what kind of uh, response do you get from people who receive your leaflets? So. A lot of people tell us that they've become vegetarian from getting our leaflets or they've cut back on animal product consumption and almost anyone who reads through our leaflets has to at least think that we make some good points and gain sympathy to the cause mm -hmm. and that actually goes a long way. I mean I, I, sometimes people don't become vegetarian until they've gotten a number of these leaflets as you know we go back to the same colleges each semester. Interesting. Um, and, but we have hundreds of screens 
of feedback from people who have changed because of our booklets on our website, beginoutreach.org. Mm -hmm. And we also more recently have started taking pictures of people who say they got a booklet and changed because yeah. of it when we run into them again. Uh, <clears throat> and we have lots of pictures of those people as well. And we have a weekly e-newsletter that you, I highly encourage people to sign up for um, at veganoutreach.org. And we include at the end of each newsletter uh, quotes from people that have changed because of our booklets. Um, yeah, it's really nice reading through those every week and just seeing some of the positive changes that's being, being made um, as a vegan outreach supporter, as a donor, anything like that. Um, it's just really uplifting to read those stories um, each week. So um, let's say some viewers want to get involved with vegan outreach. How can they go about doing that? Okay, so um, if you go to our Adopt a College website, there's a link called How To and if you click on that, it gives you all the instructions on how to get the literature and, and maybe how to find a college nearby or mm -hmm. that sort of thing. So it tells you all that right there at adoptacollege.org. Mm -hmm. So definitely visit adoptacollege.org. You can also visit veganoutreach.org to find all right. this information and link to the Adopt a College program. Um, yes. And if you're not able to volunteer but you still want to support this great work, a great way to do that is by making a donation, which you can do at veganoutreach.org. Um, I think it's one of the most effective uses of every dollar. Um, for a donation of $10, for example, how many leaflets would that get into the hands of people? About 100 leaflets. So that's a pretty impressive impact. Um, so Jack, is there anything else that you want to tell everybody? Yeah, I'd just like to say that um, for whatever reason, whether it's because of economics or because of activism, there are a lot less farmed animals being killed in the United States these days, and uh, there's many other positive signs for farmed animals. Um, of course, the path is much too slow for what we would want, but if you compare the world today in 2011 to what it was when I went vegan in 1989, it's just, the progress is amazing. And um, it hasn't happened on accident. It's happened because of the tireless work of thousands of activists and donors working with hundreds of organizations. And if we just keep up the momentum, I expect that we'll be seeing a lot of exciting changes in the next five to 10 years. Yeah, definitely. Um, so thank you so much, Jack, um, for taking the time today. Thank you, Michelle. Um, thank you guys all for watching. I definitely encourage you to go to www.veganoutreach.org where you can find all this information and you can sign up to become a volunteer for Vegan Outreach. You can sign up for their e-newsletter and see the inspiring stories um, and you can just find all the information right there. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you're interested in more bite-sized vegan videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel or you can find me at www.veganbreak.com. Thanks so much, guys.